everybody, it's me Victoria again. I am back today and today I also have my son with me. His name is Lenny. Say hi Lenny. Hi. Great. Okay. <laughs> so, um, we will be doing the black hair removal. Um, I purchased this off of Amazon and I have no idea what the heck it says, but I know this, you know, black hair is, is up there. So, but yeah, this is it. I have no idea what it's saying, but we're going to use it today. So, I'm going to, um, do him first now i will do myself um let's see how this gonna work out i want to use my fingers let's see how i use my fingers how i look outside uh right there so let me see how this gonna work out like i said i did um purchase this from amazon i think it was like freaking i think it was like six dollars from off amazon and it took like maybe two weeks to get here which i was ticked off because i'm thinking it's going fast on it but i guess not so um i couldn't find a big brush so i had to use this little retarded brush you know since i'm gonna use a little bit so yeah this is what we're gonna be doing today and let's see can we get some blackheads off of him guys let's see let's see also guys guess what so why are you looking at it <laughs> anyway my grandfather passed away last thursday i'm 24 and yeah i was in my feelings i could have been like did this video but because i was missing him and i'll definitely try to help out with the funeral arrangement like it was you know i had to put this on pause just for a little while and so we had this funeral yesterday and everything went well um yeah we got some cousins that that kind of don't get along for real for real but we did good yesterday i was waiting on second because these are our first cousins so we everybody did good so i was surprised i was too happy um that we did get along so yeah <laughs> for real man but yeah um, he was put away real nice. He had um gray. I make sure he had his gray suit on, which I like him in. And then uh, his casket, it was um gray. He had gray on, his casket was gray. Everything was nice. My grandma is doing good. Y'all haven't met her yet, maybe one of y'all will. But she's doing good after it after the funeral. Um we just kept her busy, like we've been up there. From the day we found him like that Thursday night in the bed. He all, he also had Alzheimer's, so he had that. He had cancer, lung cancer. Um, he had lung cancer. We found he had <clears throat> lung cancer when I was 13. So we found that out. And um, yeah, we had he had lung cancer when I was 13. So he been having it since then. My grandfather died when he died Thursday. He was 89 years old. His birthday is August the 24th or the 29th, put that away. So he won 1927. So he would have been like 90 this year. So he took a long time. Think about it. He had cancer. So when I was 13, so that's like 20 plus years um, of that, of this cancer. Like, and it didn't really didn't bother him. I think it stopped bothering him when the last, um, on the last maybe month or two for real because he, he never did hurt he never said he hurt he didn't know he had cancer we didn't let him know because we felt we let him know he gonna just turn back for this one he gonna he gonna um pretty much feel sorry for himself like don't want to do nothing and you know how that go so and he is like no medicine no nothing he just like we just let it just do what it do you know so we didn't like the fact he had cancer but at the same time nothing we could have done like to Remove it for real, for real. Cause sometimes you cut people open and it spreads and they die fast. And I had a few family members found that they had cancer, like when I was older, and they had to be older too. And he found that first, and he was paid out past them. He got to live them. So yeah, we um we didn't tell him, which was good for us. We was too happy that he lived that long. I was sad that he had left me though, but at the end of the day, God know that he. He was tired because I, I asked him, I said, Granny, what's, what's wrong? He's like, I'm just tired. For the last week or two, he was in the bed. He really didn't want to do, didn't want to eat, didn't want to move. 
So, um, with that, I was like, I need to keep some on him. So, they gave him some insure, I think it's called. They got some insure. And when I come up there, I mean, he's going to eat some crackers and water. Like, we really just did this what we did. Because that's something he can hold out everything he wanted. He didn't leave it there. Yeah, he didn't want to be bothered with any other food. He I wonder how to cook him breakfast. He just went, he ate it, but he ended up just getting real sick. Like, he didn't, he didn't want to be bothered with it. No food, type of food. He didn't want to hold nothing down. So, but yeah. So, my grandfather, like I said, we buried him Friday. We just on, on the 24th. We buried him. He died on Thursday on the 16th. Around about. I think it was like six, seven o'clock. My son was at his game. We we, we didn't know, and when it was, we on my mother in law went to pick him up. Um, we my son had just came, and they was like five minutes away. We didn't know. We didn't know they were five minutes away. Nothing. I was putting me some clothes. I took a shower. So I had to throw some clothes on. My sister ran out here, and she was just crying, and screaming, because we live. I live at my house site right here. My grandma's house site at the corner, so we just across the street from each other pretty much. So, yeah, it was very, very sad because we already knew that I seen him last week. And he just couldn't breathe. His, his eyes were just, he had this, this glare thing on his eyes. I don't know if anybody know that. I don't know if anybody know what they mean, but <clears throat> my mom, a nurse, and she could tell. She already knew that something was going on. And I knew, too, because the way he was breathing. But she's a nurse, and she see it all the time. They get this little glare um, look in their eyes. And you kind of tell she kind of knew, and it's weird. She said, she said, um, we was just talking about him yesterday, and next yesterday, and pretty much every day. But she was like, he, um, I think I'm done with you, Lanny. It's still so thin. Why y'all guys didn't tell me it's just you know, so thin? I'm like, why? If y'all hear a little noise, it's raining, it started to rain. Like I said, I live down here in Alabama, so it was hot, it been hot all week. And the week before that, it was so cold. I was talking about it was like 20 something, it was cold down here. And now, like I said, now it's going to rain. So, you know, it might rain. The rain may bring a little cool coolness. So, we're going to see how that go. But let me do mine right quick. That's how it is on him. We're going to figure this junk out. Jesus. I have no makeup on because you, you wait for makeup on. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. It's, it don't smell that bad. It still don't smell that bad. Some people say it stinks. It don't smell that bad. It kind of smells like perfumey type. Jump, if you want to say, I smell like a perfume, but yeah, so and this on, like I said, it's raining. So, if y'all hear some noise, that's what it is. And yes, this is a wig I just did. A, um, my last video on this is the Vicar Fox wig, just in case anybody want to know, it is that wig. And I plan on giving me another one. Which I can't wait because I'm pretty tired. I'm not really tired of this one, but you know, time for a new look. So I don't think my opinion about it. I really wanted to um do the locks. You getting tired on your face, honey? <clears throat> well, you, listen, this is a video, homeboy. You had to talk. Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, you gotta swap, miss. You're such a hater. You're trying to you get on swap for oh, real. Great. You're such a hater. You really gonna put it on my face so you can hurt me. Oh, I'm dead serious. Where? Hello. Uh -uh, where, where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here? Yeah. Trying to get me out. Trying to get me out. It's not going out. He trying to get me. I promise you he is. But it's not going out. I'm going to get dry out. I'm going to you miss another spot. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh -huh. I got this stuff dry. He said take a minute for this stuff to dry. I really don't want to put it on my forehead. Like I said, his hair is right there. But I'm going to do a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I hate your hair. Exactly, child. The edge gonna be gone. The video gonna be calling. <laughs> edge is gone, child. Gotta get rid of your edges instead of blackheads. Edge control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need edge. I'm gonna need um more than edge control. Nothing. I ain't gonna have no edge to control. So I'm gonna need some edge. America edges. What are you gonna call it? I'm gonna need something. But yeah. So, you guys just pray for my grandmother. And I pray that she just, you know, get back to her normal self. She's on dialysis too. So, she really 
she really was taking it hard because like she really asked God to take care of me a couple of years ago. My son did so be like, oh, she said it from my son like he ever know this. So my grandmother didn't want to live because she tired. Think about it, she had to come home. And then my grandma, my grandma all the time, they do the most. My grandma liked to fight. Like he had dementia, I think that's how he said, and all the time. So he, um, he had both of them. So they mean they like to fight and they don't remember nothing. And so, um, I think my shit to come home today. After that, I was, you pretty much want to go to sleep, eat and sleep because that like they take your your blood out. They got a tube in this um thing and out, putting it back in. It's like two tubes into it's two. It's a big tube like this, and then I think you have two little vessel things like you know what I'm saying, taking blood out, putting it back in after the medicine get done with it. And so that's tiring. Have to go through that kind of stuff and come home and deal with him. And I try to save as much as I can because I have my own family. And um, sure got homework, got to pick the babies up, all the stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm doing my whole family just doing it. Is it? I'm just getting the rest of the stuff off the fresh. Is that not thick enough, Lenny? You want a little thicker? Yeah. Um. On this side here, just a little spot. Which which this spot right here, the same spot you keep talking about? Right up. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I just had to break. But anyway, just wait right there. I'll be back. And hopefully, when we come back, it'll be dry. Hope it's thick enough. You always like it's thick enough, I guess. We shall see. Anyway, I think I'm going to put a little bit on your nose a little more. Let me see. Right, you had you see how it rained and then it stopped running. Mm -hmm. It never rained no more. Anyway, guys, okay, we feel like this dry up and we will be back. Hi, right, everybody, we are back and I hope you can understand everything I'm saying because y'all did not tell me that this thing will be this tight around your mouth and you really can't talk. Can you talk, Lenny? Mm -mm. See what I'm saying? Although he hasn't been talking all the way through the video, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna let him. Peel me, my face, and I won't peel his off. So that's where it goes, and so let's get started. Go on, honey. Get it peeling. I'm scared. Oh, God. That hurts. Oh, God. Ooh. Mm. Look, you enjoy this, ain't it? Oh, <laughs> hold on, wait, break, break, time out. Let's do. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. It hurts for real. Yeah, it hurts. No, I said I did this. You should never did it. Oh God, Jesus. All right, guys, we are back. I'm sorry my phone went out, so we are on the iPad. So we're going to work it out. So, um, back to this. Come on. Let me move fast, man, because we got to go. I got It's probably already 6 o'clock. We're supposed to have another um barbecue uh, dinner at my grandmother's house. Oh, so now I'm going to have all this stuff. Oh, let me put it right here. Give it to me. Let me see. But you probably get your ball and stuff up. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't see anything. You ain't got no black head. That's the point. Uh, you see a whole lot on my face. I don't know if you think I got good skin, cause this skin is not that purple chill at all. Oh, I see a little something. <coughs> I do. Oh, I see something right here. Uh huh. It's something new. On my forehead. Mm-hmm. On my forehead, Lonnie. Okay. God, I need to talk I'm going to wash this off, guys, because this ain't going to really come off like that. Okay, it's rubbing them. Because I do that's going to go, so I really can be peeling for real, for real. Okay. So, I'm going to wipe the rest of mine off. Let me start on here. 
Your head stuck on her. Oh. Okay, he a big boy. He's 13, so we gonna see. We gonna see. Oh, he didn't say ouch yet. Come on. Where you going? Huh? Where you going? I'm trying to see any blackheads. Ooh, I see a couple. I want to see. There's a lot of them. Ain't no couple. Ain't a lot. I told you. The backhead be taking over. <laughs> taking over. Okay. This stuff don't hurt. I it hurts. Hurt. It hurts. It hurts me. Maybe you just got that um that rough skin. But it hurts me. I want to see it. You can't have a. Oh, oh, he did a good job. I really thought he was gonna be up here screaming real tough. That's why, like, I got to do the video with him. He gonna be screaming. No, he, he really didn't. So, yes, this stuff works. How about that? I know you see the million more videos of this. Get out of the camera like that. But this stuff really works. So, yeah, go buy you some, make you some, some people make their own. Um, yeah, just try it out because I, I see a little from me. And your skin feel good. It do feel smooth and soft. But I got to wash the rest of it off because we really got to get out of here. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Come back. Make sure you subscribe and um, push the like button. And go tell others. Share this video. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.